What up, Visionary? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. If you are a longtime subscriber, I want to say thank you, as always, for being a family member, the Visionary family, and also for coming back every time. Now, today, let's talk about nightlife in Liberia. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to Liberia in the next couple months, two, three, four months. Um, most of you, though, are going this month of December. As we all know, that's the month most of us in the diaspora return to Liberia. I decided to put you guys on some game and bring you top five nightlife in Liberia. Now, I did a video about nightlife for 2021. I believe I'm bringing you the updated version. Now, a few things have changed uh, in Liberia as far as nightlife and places to go. So these are my top five. And also, I'll list some honorary mentions and also other places you could go to chill as well. Now, let's jump right into this video. Today's video is sponsored by Vision Estate. You guys all know Vision Estate is bringing luxury, affordable homes to the Borova area in Liberia. These homes are for under $20,000. Send an email to visionestateliberia at gmail.com for more information. That's where communications is happening for all of you guys who have been sending emails. So go ahead and send us an email and we'll reach back out to you right away. Now let's get back into the video. So uh, this is a great vibe at this location. Um, good music was there. Uh, the vibe, the energy was really nice. And also... During the night, you get to see that part of the city. I think it's around Sinka area. You get to see that part of the city a, a little more. It's more quiet. It's subdued. The vibe, the energy is different. It's, it's really nice. Um, I would say, I mean, the music is great. The DJs are on top. Uh, the staff is also amazing. The waiter, waitresses are also great as well. It's a good place to kind of smoke your cigar. They let you smoke anywhere up there, of course, because it's a rooftop and it's on top of the building. So they let you smoke pretty much anywhere. And, you know, Jordan and I like to just smoke our cigars when we're, we're in Liberia. Um, so it's a great place, great vibe to just be on a rooftop, smoke some cigars, get some good music, have a good view of the city and just chop it up. You know, chop it up with some friends. Or if you're there as a couple, it's a good place to vibe out. So that will be my number five. Again, I'm sorry I don't know the name, but I've shown you the location and everything. Just ask. They will let you know. Number four. Number four is Uh, number three on my list is Club Heaven, which thanks heaven they changed the name. Um, a lot of people had issue with it. I for us, I first of all just thought the name was just so odd. Why would you name the Club Heaven? Um, I mean, it's trying to be ironic or the whatever they were trying to do with the name. They were playing around with the name like that. Um, a lot of people wasn't feeling it, so of course it got a little bit of heat. About it, some people say, "Well, we're not gonna go there because of the name and things like that," you know. But that's all behind, and now the name has been changed to Club Vegas, I believe. It's not Las Vegas Club, Las Vegas or Club Vegas, I believe. So it's a great location, also. Um, you know, great. These places are owned by us. You know what I mean? Liberians, I think a combination or all Liberians owners, I believe. Um, so great place to support. Also, really nice vibe. It's a newer area. Um, you know, they got a great setting. The music is amazing. Uh, great vibe. And that's a party area. Have a great dance floor at the location. A vibe out with good music and stuff like that. So um, just uh, just go out and ball out 
and it's you know i love it man so that's a nice location to to kind of chop it up with your friends have your friends meet you guys out there you guys all go as a group this december all of these places is going to be popping it's going to be amazing it's going to be crazy so don't forget to check it out now number two on the list for my place to check out for nightlife in liberia is always vibe lounge I just love this location. Most people do love it. Um, a lot of you do. Also, some of you who are familiar with the location may have uh, probably seen on the internet or Facebook. Uh, probably, have, I believe, not too long ago, there was an incident there where it was a structural failure um, and a few, few people got hurt. However, I can assure you that right now we went there and the location has been beefed up. Everything is good to go. Structures have been reinforced and everything like that. So we were even sitting on the top deck. Um, so everything is great. The thing feels really steady. So no worries there. That location is just perfect. And again, owned by Liberians. So go ahead and support. But not even, I wouldn't even tell you the place sell itself. So it's a great vibe. This thing is sitting right on the beach. I mean, come on. This thing is sitting on the beach. I mean, you just walk right outside on the patio and the sand is right there. You walk a few more steps down. You're literally foot in the water, in the ocean. So great vibe, great breeze. I mean, in the evening, you have a nice, cool breeze that comes through. The staffs are one of the best I've seen ever. Just amazing. They check on you. Friendly, smiley faces all the time. Um, and the food, not going to lie, as far as any entertainment spot or club, this location has the best food, especially the fish and all of that. It's amazing. And I'm surprised. Usually at any time I go there, you go there around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, they still have really good food. So go ahead and check it out. Um, great location, Vibe Lounge. And also now they've uh, installed some VIP areas, new VIP spots, a uh, little more of a gazebo kind of thing where you can sit in and kind of a little bit enclosed, a little bit of privacy as well. As you chill out in VIP with your guests, your friends, your your you know your boo, whatever it is, however it is you roll, um, it could be a great location to go. What's number one? All right. Well, right now, December twenty twenty two, going into twenty twenty three, we all know the hottest spot right now in Monrovia is Passion. <laughs> Now, passion is just all out. Good friend of mine, a Liberian-owned business, uh, Eugene uh, and his wife, you know, put their all into that to make sure it's up to par, rivaling anything else that is not Liberian-owned that we all know we've been going to um, and things like that. So passion is just an amazing vibe right on the road to give you a great view if you're on the patio. To look downstairs, look outside, and you know, vibe to good music. The entire setting is just dope, man. It's just a great feeling. Um, the interior is really nice. A lot of seating. That's one thing with you, especially uh, with the ladies when they go out. You know, most of y'all like to find a place to sit down um, and things like that. So if you're a guy going to Liberia, you know for sure, I tell you this, there's going to be a lot of ladies at Passion because it's a great vibe, great music. And also, there's a lot of places to sit. So a lot of ladies would be out there just chopping it up, chilling, you know, looking all cute and stuff like that with the high heels that they can't stand for more than 20 minutes. So they're going to have to find a seat. So <laughs> I'm just getting nice, kind of. But anyway, so uh, a lot of them are going to be out there. Great music, like I said. Everything is just amazing about this location. A lot of different places they have upstairs. Uh, you got downstairs. You got a VIP downstairs. Um, and everything is out there, man. So it's just an amazing vibe too as well. And also the karaoke night, which is Thursdays. Oh man, it's amazing. It's not so much of a karaoke, but like more like not karaoke, but live band. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you, I haven't really been to too many African music live band, but this was the best I've 
ever seen. It was amazing. I mean, nobody wanted to sit down. It was just, it was, it, you know, it kind of gave me a vibe almost like you went to you go into a crusade, church crusade on New Year's Eve. You know how crusade be like when they're singing those songs and every, the band, the music, the choir, everybody be like in. You know, I'm not saying Jolly Jolly and church is not the same thing. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying like the live band, I mean, the, the, the piano, the drums and the person singing. I mean, it's just like, it's like a feeling, man. You just want to be up, you singing and the guy is throwing in some different, different, you know, things uh, uh, that's funny and things like that. So, and uh, and it's amazing, man. So I went there for two of the karaoke nights and the place be really packed. So if you're in Liberia this month, 2022, December, check out Vibe, uh, not Vibe, but check out Passion, but also check it out on Thursday. Weekends too is, is, is nice. It's, you know, it's pretty much uh, really nice. That's probably from Wednesday to Saturday, uh, when, uh, Thursday to Sunday. That's when you get the most um, out of that location. But definitely check it out on a Thursday and go there a little bit earlier because a lot of people will be out there and people just vibing and listening to some good live band music. Um, and he got a good friend, Eugene, who is always working. He's not like he's the owner of the location, but he's not sitting somewhere like just chilling. He's on the floor. I mean, he's assisting, helping, ringing, uh, checking people out, uh, uh, running uh, tabs and all of that. So he's in down 10 toes deep with the location. Staff is amazing as well. Um, they're great. They greet you. They make sure to cater to you at every step of the way. So, um, great location. Other than that, that's my number one on the list, which is passion. Now, let's talk about some honorable mention. Now, another club on a, last year when I did this video was uh, my number one was uh, Angler. <laughs> But I believe Angles is not there anymore. So now they're having most of their karaoke night and things like that at um, Twister. <laughs> So Twister 2 is a nice location, a good vibe. Twister, these places are one of the places where you kind of go a little bit later during the night. Uh, Liberia people party until, what, 5, 6 a.m. So, you know, you can go to a club around 2, 3. It's a good time. This place is going to be packed. So Twister will be an honorable mention, a good place to chill out inside, outside. It's not a big place, so, you know, it might be confined a little bit if you're sitting inside. You can sit outside. Um, or just kind of, you know, chill, walk around, hang out. So it's a good location too as well, right in the Cinco area there to do. Now, if you want to party, party. Now, I would have said Anglers, but I don't know what's going on with Anglers. I don't know if they're still there or not, but I mean, I don't, I don't see it. I didn't see it, I mean. So if you want that party, party, you can go to 231 or you can go to Club Vegas, Heaven Club Vegas. Um, but... 231 is always where he's at. It's not that big of a club either, but they'd be turned up. It's right there. People usually, if you go there around 11 o'clock, most of you from the diaspora, from the States, we tend to go out around 11 and by 2 a.m. you're done. Nah, that's not going to happen. You go to 11 o'clock, you'll be all by yourself. So 231 and places like that, you want to party, party, you hit the club right around 1.30 a.m., 2. So by 1.32 a.m. is a good time. That's when people are pouring in, people are coming in, and you're going to be turned up all the way. So 331, it's an honorable mention for that party, party, party. Also, there are other places. There are, um, there are cigar bars, the, the, the great cigar bars. I'm sorry, guys. This cigar bar is in the old road. <laughs> I think I'm going to
people. I'm pretty sure if you ask, you will know. I will find the information. I'll put it in the comments. So look, look down in the comment section. I'll go ahead and uh, put the name. Also, if you're watching this video, if you've already been to this location that I didn't know that, that, that I did not mention the name, please go ahead and comment below their name so other people can see it. I'm sorry. I should have done deep, a lot deeper research before making this video, but you know, it's what it is. But there's a cigar lounge, lounge on the Oro. It's a great place to vibe. If you smoke cigar, you just want to chop it up. Great vibe, reasonable pricing too as well. Um, it's a Liberian owned, so I recommend you hit that spot. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My next video is going to be the cost of a night out in Liberia. How much should you budget for if you have plenty of trips to Liberia already and nightlife is going to be a big part of it? How much money you should budget for a nightlife during the time you're there? Maybe going off to party really good about three, four times whilst you're in Liberia. Look out for the video. In the meantime, like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Right? Don't, don't, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I'm just playing. There it is, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one. Get it.